Hello everybody, welcome back to Thieges Notebook Review. What I just reviewed is this low-spec budget behemoth, the Acer Aspire 3. It's spilt out of the box with an ironically small NVMe SSD. While quick and nimble, it sure can't hold all of my sweet-ass games. So for this video, a 1TB Samsung SSD is going to be installed, and I'm going to show you how to install it. We begin by unscrewing the bottom cover. You can make a diagram of where all the 14 screws go if you want, but they're all the same size, so it's not the end of the world if they don't exactly wind up in their point of origin. A prying tool is recommended to get the cover off, and the easiest place to start is a back corner near one of the hinges. This bottom piece is quite stubborn, but also quite robust, and none of the little plastic teeth are prone to breakage. Notebook guts! The hard drive caddy and cable are already mounted inside. You just need to untape the cable, then remove the screws holding in the caddy. Don't worry about the slits in the caddy itself. You didn't make those, it came that way. You can connect the hard drive cable now or later. I connected it first so that I knew how the drive is going to be oriented when it's all said and done. Inside of the box were four screws in a bag. Take those out. We'll need them. Use the screws to secure the SSD to the caddy. Once secured, rest the caddy back in the notebook and tighten it down to make sure it can't escape. Place the bottom cover. If the drive is brand new or unformatted, right click on the Windows icon and click on Disk Management. You should be able to see the new drive on the bottom with a black header and a description of how much empty space is in it. Right-click inside of the box and select New Simple Volume. If you just click Next a bunch, you'll get a single partition with all the space and the next available drive letter. And walla walla, look at that. You have somewhere to put all those huge games you can't play because it's just a Core i3. Speaking of playing games, I think it's time to do just that in another video. Subscribe so you don't miss it. I suppose I could also ask you to like the video too. Eh, it's up to you. As far as comments are concerned, I don't care if you have one, but do your fellow man a favor and look down below for questions, and be a good Samaritan and answer one if you're able. I would do it myself, but I just installed one terabyte of extra space for games, and well, I'm a little busy. Thanks for watching, and you guys, have a good night.